Louisiana Beer Reviews, Cahaba Brewing Company's Oka Uba IPA. Passion like a river flows from Cahaba Brewing Company, Birmingham, Alabama, established in 2011. This was canned about two months ago, just over two months ago. Um, I bought this at a local grocery store at Piggly Wiggly, one of the Piggly Wigglies, when I visited Birmingham, June 2022. All right, um, and they had a good deal, $10.99 for pick a six, you know, you can make a variety six pack, and uh, this day and age, that's not bad, so I picked out different craft beers to put in there, and uh, stouts and IPAs. Watching a cat chase something and try to eat it. Which I don't know what that. I don't know what she's eating. Some animal. It's jumping around. A bug, I think. All right. What are you eating? Um. It's orange. She's still fighting with it. Uh, why you gotta bother that grasshopper? Leave that alone. It's a grasshopper. A green grasshopper. That's not, well, you know, you can't stop them. Um, if you eat it, that's good. If you just kill it, that's wasteful. Orange, translucent. Yeah, golden orange. They use Cascade and Columbus hops. They don't list the, um, malts but there must be some pale malts and uh, seven point five percent alcohol and sixty one bitterness units um oh scores uh eighty four on beer advocate they're saying very good I would just call that good. 75 on, 74 on Untap, which would be about the same for them. 74 on Rape Beer, which to them is saying just average. And in style, they really hate it. A 54 out of 100. Mild white bread crust and some um, kind of some kind of oily hop resin that similar to what you get with the Goose Island IPA, on, honestly. And I have trouble describing that smell. It's distinctive, but I can't describe it. All right, taste. One time I saw that cat jumping and chasing something and jumping back, jump. It was a snake, a water moccasin. I told her, I said, you better hope you win that contest. All right. Um, the bitterness is very restrained, and once again, it's got that strange resiny taste, similar to Goose Island. It's almost like a spicy bread, like a Belgian spice bread. That's a little weird, huh? White bread crust, body's medium, finishes dry. On the sweetness scale, yeah, it's pretty sweet and multi three. And a half out of five sugar cubes, I think. The bitterness is building, yes. Four out of five hop cones. Well, it's nice to have a classic style IPA, and especially one that's a good one. Some of these beers we've been drinking lately are strange to start with, and then they don't seem to fit the style that they they say they're trying to fit, like. Ellis Lager it tastes like an amber, amber ale and other weird things. IPAs that don't match up, but this one does. So, um, but think about it along the lines of a stronger version of Goose Island IPA, which is an English style IPA, and I would call this an English style IPA. But yes, stronger and 
slightly higher bitterness units, perhaps. Because the Goose Island is 5.9, I think it's 55 IBUs, 7.5 here in 61. So a little stronger, but not remarkably so. So laissez les bon temps relay, I'm going to score this a solid A. Without a doubt, this beer is a 9.5 out of 10, a 95 out of 100. Another winner from Cahaba. We did the, uh, the uh, flavored uh, sour, which was very good. Uh, DD's, that was uh, really fabulous, another A. And so two, two most excellent beers from Cahaba. That's a good start, I have to say. So Lazy Lay Bon Tom Relay, a great product, and y'all go to, I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Birmingham, Alabama, and visit Cahaba Brewing Company.